Welcome to Active State. Let's take a quick tour of our user flow, from creating an account to running and sharing your project. You have two options for signing up. You can use your email address or use an existing GitHub account. To create an account using your email, go to the Create an Account page and enter a valid email address, a unique username, and a password with at least 12 characters. Click Create Account to finish. A confirmation email will be sent to activate your account. To create an account using GitHub, go to the Create an Account page. Click Sign in with GitHub. You will be redirected to the GitHub site to authorize your account. You may be prompted to enter your GitHub username and password, otherwise click Authorize Active State to allow Active State to authenticate your account. Once authenticated, you will be redirected to the platform as a signed-in user. In the Projects tab, select an organization from the drop-down to create a project. Click the New Project button. You can scan a GitHub repository for a requirements file, or manually select a language, version, and operating system for your project. By default, the project is set to public. If you want to restrict access, select Private. At this time private projects are only available to pro, team, and enterprise users. A default project name will be given, or you can choose a unique name for your project. To finish click the Finish and Install button and follow the prompts. Alternatively, you can add packages to your project before downloading. Click to find and add the required packages and versions you need for your project. You can also import packages from a file. After making your selections, click Next and then Save Changes to commit your selections and begin the build process. Once the build is completed, go to the Download Builds tab of your project page. Follow the prompts under First Time Download and Installation to install. You can also install via terminal. Copy the link and paste it into your command terminal to download the state tool and deploy your runtime in your environment. With your project created and the state tool installed, you can immediately get to work using your project. To begin a state tool session anytime after installation, open your command terminal. If you are working on a private project, authenticate your account using the state auth command and follow the prompts. To download and install your runtime, enter state checkout organization name, forward slash, project name into your command line while in your working directory. After installation enter state use followed by your project name, to set the runtime as the default on your machine. Or enter state shell followed by your project name to enter a shell specific to that runtime. You can now run your code from wherever your Python, Perl, Tickle, or Ruby files are stored, whether locally or in your network. Rest assured that your packages have been securely built from source and your code is running in a safe, isolated environment. You can also use the state tool to make changes locally on your machine, such as adding or removing packages to your project. To add a package, open your project in your terminal and enter state install, followed by the package name. This will add a package to your project on your local machine. After it has been added successfully, you can push your local changes to the platform using the state push command. After the platform has been updated with your local changes, other members of your team that have previously deployed the same project can pull those recent changes down to their local machines by using the state pull command. Thank you for watching how to use Active State to implement a secure software supply chain and build your projects with confidence.